Huh? What's this? What are you trying to give me something like this as a present? The gift that my husband gave me to celebrate the birth of our baby was so bad, I immediately threw it in the trash. Upon seeing my actions, my in-laws were surprised and took the gift out of the can. However, when they saw the cost of the gift, they understood why I had saved up and my in-laws began to tremble. I have decided that I will never for husband for this. My name is Tyra and I am 32 years. After graduating from high school, I worked as a sales clerk in a vintage clothing store, but I quit my job when I got accepted to college. My husband is Joshua. We worked in building. Whenever my colleagues saw Joshua, always make a big fuss about him because he was tall, handsome, and stood out in the building. There were many people working in that building and we didn't even know him, so we called him Prince. Hey, I passed by Prince today. Today, lucky day. I also reported to all my colleague as I saw Joshua. The first time I talked to him was a few years after joining the company. I stumbled and fell while carrying boxes on a cart, mm. scattering the clot the boxes all over the floor. While I was trying to pick them up, husband happened to pass by and help. Are you okay? He said with a sparkling smile. He's only good looking on the outside, but the inside is even better. My face turned bright red in the pre such a dazzling man. When I returned to the store and told my colleagues about what had just happened, mm. they were thrilled and I still remember it like it was yesterday. From then on, I became acquainted W and started talking to him whenever into him. The more I talked to him, the more him. I mustered up the courage to invite dinner and he gladly accepted. The more we talked, the more I fell with him. And despite it being our dinner together, I blurted out my secret. I like you too. Let's go out. He agreed and I was so happy that stopped smiling even when I got home. Whenever we met, he was still perfect like my first impression of him. Perhaps I was looking at him through rose-colored glasses because I liked him so much. However, we often had trouble staying in touch when we were apart. It was common for me to receive a response WhatsApp a day later. I don't check my phone that often. He often said that since we didn't communicate frequently, I was always super excited when I could see him. Because of that, even after three years dating, my love for him had not charred. I had come to think that I wanted to this person forever. After a while, I found out I was pretty. Really? I'm happy too. Let's get Mark. When I told Joshua, he soon proposed her. While he was stroking my stomach, he was happy that we were going to have a baby. I was so happy to marry my beloved that I couldn't stop crying because my morning sickness was severe and made it difficult to continue working, which involved standing all day. I decided to quit my job. When I told my colleagues, they cried with joy as if it was their own news. Since I became a housewife, I have been doing the household chores that I am particularly good at before my husband was worried about me because of my severe morning sickness, so he would come home right after work. On days when I had a checkup, I would call my husband, who was at home. Those were such happy days. I had a very good relationship with my parents-in-law as well. Our new home was close to my in-laws, and my mother-in-law often made sides and brought them over. There was no typical mother-in-law, and she always spoke kind words to me. I can't wait to see my grandchild. You take care of yourself, Tyra, okay? On days when my morning sickness was, would sometimes take over the house chores, and I couldn't thank her in. Even if my husband wasn't there due to work, I sometimes went out with my in-laws to buy groceries. My father-in-law always encouraged me to say, if you don't ask, you won't get. Tyra, you will give birth to a healthy baby boy. Don't worry about anything. I admired my in-laws 
as if they were my real parents. I had a difficult upbringing due to a poor home environment since childhood. Since I started working, I had almost no contact with my parents and was in almost estrangement. So I was happy that my parents-in-law treated me like a real daughter. However, after half a year of marriage, there were times when my husband did not come home at the usual time. He did not answer my phone calls or messages. Even when we were dating, he was not good at communicating, but after getting married, it was different. I worried endlessly that he might have an accident and waited for him with a prepared meal in front of me, staring at my phone. When he finally came home late at N, asked him, where have you been? If you're going late, please let me know. Sorry, I didn't look at my phone. My boss invited me to dinner. He said it with an innocent face. I thought I had worried about nothing, feeling exhausted from worrying too much, didn't feel like saying anything back. From then on, the days when he came increased day by day. The reasons varied, such as having work, eating with senior colleague, co-workers. It became normal for me not to hear from him on days. When he was late and I stopped asking for reasons with my anxious feelings, my belly bigger. I was excited about having a child, worried about whether I could raise child with my husband. At that time, I was told the gender child during a checkup and it was, it was an event that made me feel uh, the first time in a long time. Even though my husband came home late that day, I immediately told him the news. Listen, the baby is a boy. Oh, I see. He replied with a disinterested tone. Huh? You're not curious about your gender? Why do you act like this? You're annoying. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. He said it in an irritated voice, which was unusual. I was shocked and even cried. Ignoring my tears, he went into the bedroom. I became even more anxious about our life with the baby. The next day, I consulted with my mother-in-law when she came to our house. Men are like that, you know? It's easy to become anxious during, don't worry too much about it, just try to have a healthy baby. I didn't fully agree with my mother, but what she was saying might be core. The more I thought about it, the more I became convinced that I had to do something. I decided not to think too much for of my baby in my belly. However, my husband would come home every day and even on his days off, he was always out somewhere. I had accumulated mistrust towards one day, as usual, on his day off, he tried to go out somewhere. So I asked him where he wanted to go. Hey, where are you going? Don't you know about me and our unborn child? I could give birth any time now. I have enough. I exploded and cried out. Seeing me, husband said, I'm sorry, honey, for making you feeway. I have an urgent matter that needs to be postponed. If anything happens, please let me will keep an eye on my phone, okay? My husband hugged me and said those. I was surprised by his kind words prepared to fight with him. If he's like that, I, I can't blame him at all. In the end, my husband went out, but quickly responded to my WhatsApp me's that day. I was glad that our relationship was before birth. My mother-in-law came every day on my side, so I felt relieved. I told my husband the due date. Many reminded him every morning before. Okay, take care. My husband said so and went out. Finally, the contraction started, so I called my mother-in-law, who rushed over to me immediately. Here he comes. Make sure you can go hospital anytime. My mother-in-law prepared an efficient meal. I had messaged my husband in WhatsApp. The contractions became shorter and to the hospital. I checked my phone, but there was no from my husband. Even when I called him, he didn't answer. Please tell Joshua to come. 
I asked my mother-in-law to pass on a message since I was in pain and couldn't do it myself. He will definitely come before the birth. Tyra, just focus on giving birth to a healthy baby. My mother-in-law tried to encourage me. However, hours passed after arriving hospital and my husband didn't show. I couldn't stop thinking about my husband's absence. I asked my mother-in-law many times about Joshua, but she would only reply, come soon. I think she said that to reassure me. A healthy baby boy was born despite difficulties, and when I saw him for the first time, tears of joy could not flow. In the end, my husband never showed up. I gave birth late at night, and he had finished work by then. I thought I could no longer trust my, please tell Joshua not to come anymore. When I told my mother-in-law this, she looked at me with a troubled expression. During the hospitalization, my husband showed up. My in-laws visit me every day, so I don't feel lonely or anxious. On the day I left the hospital with my in-laws, my husband was waiting for me outside looking awkward and saying, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Tyra. I bought this for you. He handed me a box. Although I didn't plan on forgiving easily, I accepted the box without anything. It was a box of expensive baby cloth. However, as soon as I opened it, I... What is this? Why would you give me... I immediately threw the box into the trash can, and my mother-in-law rushed over. Tyra, why did you do that? Even though what Joshua did was wrong, it was a nice gesture. Saying that, my mother-in-law took it out of the trash. As soon as she saw what was inside, she started shaking. And no wonder inside the box were clothes with the name Marie written. I didn't understand the meaning and more scared. What is this Joshua? Who is Marie? I know the gender and name of your child. My mother-in-law glared at my husband, muttering in a small voice. Oh, shoot. What? How can you make a mistake, little one? No, well, um... When I tried to speak, my husband became flustered and couldn't say anything. Joshua, answer me now. What is this? Even though my father-in-law yelled at him, he remained frozen and didn't do anything. I don't want to see your face anymore. You are not qualified to be my husband either. Now get the hell out of my life. I shouted and my mother-in-law came in. Joshua, you are hiding something, Do Well, it doesn't matter now, just ch Then my father-in-law pulled me out of the house. As soon as my husband left, my son, been sleeping soundly until then, sewn crying. After putting my son to sleep, I thought about investigating Joshua's affair. Tyra, you may not want to know, but surely be material for divorce. It to investigate Joshua thoroughly. My father-in-law said seriously to me, Yes, I was planning to do that too. My mother-in-law was crying beside me. I'm really sorry about my son. A few days later, my father-in-law received the results from the private detective. We found out everything about my husband's affair. He had a child with his lover, who around the same time as my child. He gave me a present which should have been given to his lover. She knew that he was married. It turned out that he had been spending time with her at her house since six months after their marriage. Did he think he wouldn't get caught? I couldn't forgive him, nor his lover. My father-in-law apologized to me. Ma and my mother-in-law kept crying. I'm really sorry. I can't apologize. Thank you both for helping me give birth. I don't hold any grudges against either of you, but I can never forgive Joshua. Can me? Both of my in-laws couldn't forgive each other, so they agreed to help. Later, while my mother-in-law was watching the baby, my father-in-law, mm, a lawyer, went to the home of Joshua's mistress. When we rang the intercom, my husband was surprised to see us. You look well, Joshua. I already know everything. My husband looked as flustered. 
My father-in-law slapped him on the face. As I watched the baby sleeping sound arms of the mistress, tears flowed eyes. Let's begin the procedures. First, sign the divorce papers. Under the law, my husband and I would be completely separated. The lawyer then explained the amount of compensation and child support and got them to sign the agreement. However, the mistress said something ridiculous. I can't pay that much. Why do I have the baby was just born? That's because you committed adultery. The mistress could not say anything to her husband. Though surprised at his request, she signed the papers without any hesitation. The child is innocent, but you have to be happy. So please pay the amour full. And please never come near us again. I said this as I was leaving. Feeling relieved, I told my former everything that had happened. They were as angry as if it had happened to them. And apparently they told other different stories. The rumor spread quickly and my husband found it difficult to work at his job and eventually quit. With the rumor spreading so far, he may be able to find work in the same industry again. My son is an extremely expressive child. I can wait to see what kind of expression he will have every day. I am grateful that my in-laws are here with all their might. I think I have become stronger than. I want to grow with my son every day to become a great mother.